Welcome to The Circle and to our very first episode. Our hope here is that everyday people will learn how to become Jesus followers. Our vision for The Circle podcast is to have a conversation about the message this past Sunday so that we can apply it to our everyday lives. My name is Rob, I'm your host, and I'm here with Jacob, our pastor at Local Vineyard Church. Hey everyone. So Jacob, we started a series this past Sunday called Hurry Up and Rest, where we're looking at the spiritual practice of taking a weekly Sabbath. Could you give us a brief summary on what Sabbath is? Of course. Yeah, Sabbath is a weekly time that you dedicate to God. You simply stop, rest, delight, and worship God. Okay. How can we start a weekly Sabbath? And does it have to be a 24-hour thing? That's a great question, Rob. Sabbath does not have to start as a day-long event. I think that might be very daunting to people, especially if you have kids like you and me, we can relate to that. Or if you have elderly people who depend on you, I think the end goal should be a 24-hour block of time. But I think up front, start where you are, not where you want to be. Start where you are, not where you want to be. I like that. It makes things attainable. So what do you think about starting with something like a family dinner or a few hours on a Saturday night or a Sunday dinner, you know, something along those lines? Exactly, exactly. Just start where you are. We have one family in our church, actually, who's doing Sabbath as a family from five to nine on Friday nights. They are eating dinner together, a planned, low-stress family activity, and then intentional time with God as a family. Just start where you are. You know your season and you know your stage of life. Okay. Now, what would you say is the main defining goal of this? Um, I would say being honest with yourself and asking, does this attentional time really allow me to stop, rest, delight, and worship God? Jacob, our world has all this digital stuff around, a lot of distractions. Do we eventually have to become like monks for a day in order to practice Sabbath? Uh, that's they maybe I'm joking. No, of course not. But I do suggest putting your phone away, maybe limit TV time, iPads, gaming if you have kids or gaming if you like to game yourself. But uh, most importantly, just ask yourself, how can I stop? How can I rest? How can I delight? And how can I worship God in this time? That's awesome. Jacob, do you have any tips for those of us who want to start practicing Sabbath? Yeah, for sure. I would say start small. Just start where you are. Think subtraction, not addition. Wait a minute, Jacob. We're not here for a math class, man. What do you mean think subtraction and not addition? Yeah, I hate math too, man. Like the thought of doing algebra ever again in my life makes me cry. But (laughs) but here you go. Our lives are already busy. We don't want to add Sabbath to our already over busy schedule. Think about what you can cut out. Maybe weekend sports team, additional house projects, taking work home. That's, I think, a lot of us struggle with that. Spiritual formation is about less, not more. Okay, cool. Last question. When should we do Sabbath? Yeah, that is a great question. There's kind of three traditions that we see throughout history of Sabbath. There's Sunday Sabbath. That's going to church in the morning, then dedicating the remainder of your day to God. That's what most Christians probably would do. There's traditional Jewish Sabbath, and that's sunset Friday to sundown Saturday. That's actually what Aaron and I do, and it works pretty good for us. And then there's midweek Sabbath. That's for people who have weekend jobs or, you know, the stuff on the weekend that they are pretty obligated to. But mainly, to start where you are, not where you want to be. Sunday dinner, Wednesday nights, whatever works for you. So start where you are, not where you want to be. That sounds like that's the theme for starting a weekly Sabbath. Jacob, is there anything else you want to add to this? Yeah, I just want to add just one Bible verse from Jesus. I love how the message paraphrase puts it of of Matthew 11. Uh, Jesus says this, Are you tired, worn out, burnt out on religion? Come to me, get away with me, and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the armed force rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me, and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. That's awesome. 
So thank you everyone for joining us on The Circle. If you have any other questions about Sabbath, feel free to text Jacob at 757-813-4314. He would love to share his heart for Sabbath with you. And we'll see you all here next week at the local Vineyard Circle podcast.